Greetings, it's Ian from RTO here. Welcome for, to a new album review, as we do on a Friday, and uh, we've got the brand new album from American rock band, Stained. Now I got into Stained again with my friend Catherine. <laughs> she, uh, she got me into Stained, and I really like them. Now this is their Alth, Alth? their eighth album. And it's their first since 2011 so it's been a little while since we had some new music from this band um, and it's called Confessions of the Fallen so playing on this we've got Aaron Lewis on lead vocals and rhythm guitar Mike Mooshock on lead guitar Johnny April on the bass and backing vocals and Sal Giancarli on the drums so the first track on here is called the lowest in me a really good song very gritty heavy guitar sound the bass from johnny april is really dirty bass line uh it's just a typical old style stain song it's a really good song and the next song is called was any of it real another very good song dominated by this really gritty dirty bass line um, Aaron's vocals are strong uh, you know strong as ever very very good track then we have in this condition the drumming on this was Sal is pretty good um, very gritty song again um, well I'll tell you more about the end about it but there's very similar to what we've already heard off this album then we have a track called here and now one of my favorites on here it's a great vocal for starters and some great guitar work here from Mike I really like that track out of time again very consistent some great riffs and then two the two guitars of Aaron and Mike sort of intertwining and coming up with a really dirty sound that's what I like about this band they're really dirty hard hitting riffs good track that one is Cycle of Hurting comes next it's got a little bit of growly voicing on which I don't think we need uh, they're not that sort of band for my they, you know they've moved on from that uh, but it's okay the growly just sort of spoil it uh, we've got a little bit more growly on Frey, but it doesn't take it away. It's a really great bass line on this one from Johnny. Um, great track. Then we get a track called Better Days. Now, this is more of a melodic track. It's a bit more subdued, and it's a rich, one of my favourite tracks on the album, one of the slower ones. Hate Me Too, solid track. Aaron's vocal is strong. Really like that. And then we do get the probably the best track on here, and it's the title track, Confessions of the Fool. And really good. Starts off with some really good drumming from Sal. Uh, you've got a lovely rhythm guitar on this from from Aaron. Then then Mike puts some really nice little licks on top of that. Throw in a great bass line, and you've got a really strong song. Really good. They, the album starts strong and finishes strong. Okay, um isn't a bad album at all um, although a lot of the sounds, songs sound the same there's not much movement in the sound but do you need to do that sometimes no you know it, it's a very it's about 35 minutes long each song the average length of a song is three and a half to four minutes so they're all short sharp punchy songs which is great um, where would they, I don't know, I mean, I have ranked them, and I'd be interested to throw this in to a little mini um, tier ranking of these at some stage. Might do a day when I do a couple, about three of the shorter ones for these new albums, that would be a good one to do. But, uh, yeah, I, think, I enjoyed listening to it. I think this is a better album than their same titled album from 2011, which I think was probably the worst of the albums. And I would say this is probably the best album since the illusion of progress because it's gone back to that old style 
um, Stain sound. I mean, Stain itself. They sort of went away from their sound and tried something a little bit different. But it, for me, it didn't work. But this has just gone back to roots, and which is good. You go back to what you know and what the fans like. Um, so, yeah, uh, it's a really good listen. And I'm going to give this an RTO ranking of 7.3. Okay, we've got one more to do, and it's a live album from Steve Hackett. Um, the bloke just amazes me how he keeps churning it out. And they're always good, especially his live stuff. So we'll have a look at his, the new live album from Steve Hackett. So bye for now. <laughs>